Welcome to Tech Zilla Bites, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Patrick Norton and I am a weather geek. I am a huge fan of weather.gov. I even made a link to the web page for my town Alameda so I can click once to launch the weather.gov forecast page on my phone. Geeky? Yes. Weather's a big deal. It doesn't matter if you're sailing, snowboarding, or just trying to figure out if you need a sweater this afternoon. That is why there are a ton of free apps that rock the iPhone better than the stock weather app. AccuWeather, the Weather Channel, WeatherBug, Weather Underground, all great, all free, and all kind of ugly maybe even packed with info you probably don't need. That's why a lot of weather apps have started going minimal. Weather alternatives are kind of pushing the interface in really interesting and rather stylish ways. The one I'm really obsessed with, Dark Sky, the first app I ever saw that took a new approach to giving you weather data and is one of the only apps I leave push notifications on for. There's something really crazy about your phone kind of pinging you and saying, hey, it's gonna rain shortly, just before it starts to rain. The main page gives you an idea of the precipitation over the next hour, slide left for the next 24 hours, and a nice time temperature chart. Slide once more and you get the week's forecast. Punch the temperature on the main page, you get wind, humidity, dew point, barometric pressure. The information's there, you just have to look for it. And there are maps. Dark Sky's original version was obsessed with rain and storms. The original interface, if you had blue sky conditions, it'd tell you it was boring and offer to show you a radar map of someplace there was something interesting going on. Click on the location bar at the top, you'll get a similar suggestion. Love this app, darkskyapp.com. I want an Android version. Dark Sky seem too busy for you? You are gonna love solar. This is solar.com is the website. You get colors, hint, red is hot, depending on the heat, pull down for a three day forecast. iOS and Android versions are available. And then there's Oak Studios Blue, available on iOS. It shows a 36 hour weather forecast relevant to your location. You just scroll up for each hour. It's just that simple. Your infographic weather companion. What's that? It's called Partly Cloudy. It gives you a clock face. Scroll around the hours, color equals temperature, the likelihood of rain. You get a blue swell around the time of day it expects it to rain. Speaking of rain, if you've never read Sebastian Younger's The Perfect Storm, why don't you try listening to it for free? Compliments of our sponsor, audiblepodcast.com slash techzilla. Well, there's kind of a big deal in this book. Oh, one last weather app. Not so minimal of an app, but very well done. Yahoo Weather, one of the nicest things from the Yahoo Lagoon in forever, people. It's a simple summary of high-low temps for the day, conditions, lovely photos off of Flickr, scroll up to get a forecast and get the geekier details. Scroll left and right for all your different locations. Those are some of my favorites. If you've got a better weather app for iOS or Android, post it in the comments on our Google Plus page or tweet at Techzilla. Email works to techzilla at risen3.com. Hey, want to get yourself into some good habits? Check out Shannon's review of the iOS app, Do One Thing.